Okay, hi ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have, this is uh, Amy Esmeralda, is my real name. Everybody calls me Amy. I have the Isaiah chapter 15 verses 1 through 9 channel and end time deliverance, which you guys already know I have. And I'm not hardly on this channel because I have a lot on this channel right here, visions and dreams and stuff like that. But the Lord wanted me to speak on something about this person who is a known false prophet. Um, recently, there was another individual that did an expose video. I think it was Minister Paul, another false prophet. I don't promote him at all. And if you check out the video I did on my channel, Isaiah chapter, F Isaiah, okay, Isaiah chapter 15, verses 1 through 9. That's my other channel. If you check that channel out, I have a latest video on there. I'm going to try to post the link below. That um, is more proof that this person is a false prophet. Okay? So... In this video, look at the date, okay? I'm going to scroll down. It was dated May 3rd, 2014. Do you see that? This person is telling people that the next event that was supposed to happen, the next event, she said, next event to come is the rapture. I'm going to do something very interesting, okay? Okay. She said the next event after May 3rd, 2014, that's what she's telling you, is going to be the rapture, okay? That the rapture is supposed to take place. Now, I'm going to do something very interesting. I'm going to Google a question. Go with me on this, okay? I'm going to Google a question. The question is going to be, what happened after... May 3rd, 2014, the day she downloaded, uploaded that video. Um, many things happened on 2014, May 3rd. Some where people were unfortunately uh, murdered. Other things happened. Um, 2,000 people died following landslide in, La in, in Afghanistan. You see? You can look for yourself. Many types of news articles come up. I know it's Wikipedia, historical events sports, just different types of stories that happen on that day. There's nowhere in here that it says that the rapture happened or that was going to be the next event. See, she's trying to be slick. Here's what she's trying to do. She's tell, She's trying to tell you, and, and look, if you got, you got to really have eyes to see this false prophet is trying to tell you that I don't know the day or the hour, but the Lord has shown me the next event to come is the rapture. Okay, you might think, well, she's not setting a date. That's what false prophets do. They will not directly come out to you with a date. Okay, that's why you have to have spiritual ears to hear and eyes to see. But they will set a date indirectly. Okay, she's basically telling you that the next thing to happen is the rapture. That hasn't happened. And besides... This is, she's also proving to you that she's a preacher of rapture believer. Okay. She's telling you in this crazy message she's putting out that she is that, oh, that the, that the rapture is going to take place before the Daniel 927 prophecy is fulfilled. She's basically telling you that the next thing after May 3rd, 2014, the next thing that's going to happen She's setting a date here. You might not believe it, but she is. The next event to come is the rapture. That's what she's saying. So whatever happens after May 3rd, 2014, she's saying the very next event after May 3rd, 2014 is going to be the rapture. The rapture hasn't happened. The Lord's not going to say to a person when the rapture is going to happen. He's not going to say out to you or me, the next event that's going to happen is going to be the rapture. Even though the Lord... She, which, even though she, what she's telling you is this, that the Lord didn't give her a date or an hour, but the Lord told her that the rapture is going to happen, that the rapture is going to be the next event. Now, the father clearly says in the word, okay, 
I'm going to bring up scripture. I'm going to try to type it in as fast as I can, but I'm going to bring it up. Okay. And in Matthew chapter 26, I'm sorry, 24 verse 36, it says in the word, in the KJV, that no, but, but of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my father only. So why would God tell a human being that the rapture is going to be the next event when he's not even going to tell his only son? Bottom line is, ladies and gentlemen, God is not going to say anything about the rapture to anyone because the only one that knows is the father. He's not going to even whisper to a person the next event to happen is the rapture because that person is telling you, okay, is telling you that the next event to happen in May, after May 3rd, 2014 is the rapture. That's what she's saying. I don't care what she says. I don't care what anybody says. That's what she's saying. As far as I'm concerned, that's day setting. And that's a false prophecy because that's never even come to pass. Check this out. No more will I use a false divination. The Lord doesn't use false divination at all. The Lord, she's implying that the Lord is using false divin that the Lord falsely divinates. No more will, will I use a false divination. The Lord does not falsely divinate. The Lord is not a false prophet. Jesus Christ is a true prophet. He is the prophet. He's God. He did not give this woman any kind of message. I'm going to dissect it for you. Watch this. I rang up my mom, guys. I asked my mom if she could help me find out more information from the Lord about what it was I saw. So she saw the same thing. She said, oh, she saw I was on the plane. I said, okay, mom. But I said, the Lord has told me twice in the word that something's going to come to pass from one of our visions or dreams or something like that. So I said, could you find out and get some information? Of maybe which one might start to come to pass and manifest because he's shown so many things to us and I don't know which one he's talking about. So my mum was praying, seeking the Lord. This is what he showed her is going to be the next event that's going to come. This is the vision. I just spoke to sermons and seek the Lord Jesus Christ and all answers, okay? She said, I saw Jesus on his throne. He took his crown off. He walked through the crowd. He then, she then saw him touch his face like he was crying. And then a light came up. His spirit basically left. Guys, the Lord is showing my mum the next event that's going to take place is the rapture. Now please be aware, I don't know no day. So guys, I just want to let you know, I don't know no day, I don't know no hour. All I know is that this is what the Lord's revealing that's going to be the next event to take place. My mom has used spirit after the sermon after the sermon. Her mother is another false prophet. She doesn't have spirit of discernment. These two are under the influence of a very powerful Jezebel divination spirit. Okay? These two do not hear from Jesus Christ. They hear from the devil. Now what I'm telling you is that she's telling you that the next event to happen, this was May 3rd, 2014, was going to be the rapture. The rapture never took place yet. We're still here. No one knows who's going to make it in the rapture, but I'm just telling you, okay, what is going on here? Okay, she's trying to hide and cover her tracks by saying no man knows the day or the hour, but the next event's going to happen is the, is the rapture. 
As far as I'm concerned, if you're telling a person the next event is going to happen is the rapture, that's what I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to test the spirits. So let's test the spirits here, ladies and gentlemen. She's saying the Lord told her the next event is going to happen is the rapture. But in the scriptures, it says that, but of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my father only. So that means that the father is not going to tell a human being, okay, a demonic one at that, that the next event to happen is the rapture. The father is not going to tell anyone not one thing about the rapture, not even if it's the next event or not, because the rapture is major biblical prophecy. And this is, um, this is evidence that she's a pre-trip rapture believer. I don't know if you support that doctrine, but I'm telling you right now, I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and support that. The rapture happens when the Lord wants it to. And one second. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. This goat is so full of sin, okay? To be in the rapture, you have to be without spot. And this person right here, you could get mad if you want. That's your problem. She ain't going to be in no rapture. Goats do not make the rapture. Only spotless sheep do. You don't know if you're a sheep or not. Only God knows that, for one. For two, her dream that she said that she saw Jesus Christ... Um, and a light going up. I went to the Lord about this. The Lord told me he didn't send her that dream. I'm going to make something very clear to you guys. Satan can manifest as a angel of light. Because he appeared all angelic to even the garden. He appeared as a serpent looking all innocent. He appeared angelic to Eve in the garden. He was able to deceive Eve. Okay enemy can send false visions too this is the interpretation of her dream okay the jesus christ she saw represented a counterfeit to the father the light she saw going up or going down or however she's seen it satan is known as the enlightened one the illuminated one the light bearer okay that was a symbolism of what of of what satan is and her and her kids being taken by the hand, that was Satan taking her by the hand. Read the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, okay? The children, unclean seeds of the unrighteous, okay, will not be in the rapture. There are their testimonies of children burning in hell. It's unfortunate, but yes, when children get to the age of accountability where they know about heaven and hell and the difference between good and bad, they are subject to the same type of judgment as an adult is. So if they are in sin and God forbid that child dies and doesn't repent, confess the sins, repent, go through correction so that sins can be washed away by the blood of the lamb, that child will end up in hell. It's in the Bible. Read your Bible, ladies and gentlemen, before you sit there and run your mouths. And I'm saying this out of love for you. I'm saying this out of love for you because I would hate for you to risk your crown because you're angry that I said, what, you're angry what I had to say. My messages are not always going to be, bub they're not bubbly, they're, they're going to be raw and they're going to be truthful. This person is telling you that the rapture is going to be the next event. The rapture did not take place. This person's a false prophet. You guys got to stop listening to people like this. Here's another one that she said. Another one right here that I just zoomed in on. She's telling you people, this false prophet is telling you, she made another video dated January 14, 2015. 
she's telling people that the tribulation has now started. January 14, 2015. Here's another evidence of more false prophecies. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not in the tribulation. The Daniel 9.27 prophecy, where Israel is supposed to sign an agreement with many nations, that's supposed to usher in the seven-year tribulation. It's going to usher it in. That um, there's going to be an agreement between Israel and the many nations. It's supposed to be fostered by the Antichrist or some type of dark king. Okay, I got to look at the word to double check. Well, I believe it's supposed to be fostered by the Antichrist. And during that seven-year tribulation, right in the middle, the Antichrist breaks that agreement. And then begins to, um, there's supposed to be some type of a great war. A more intensified war. But I'm going to give you proof that she prophesied to you that the tribulation started in May or January 14, 2015. We're not in the tribulation, ladies and gentlemen. This is another evidence of her false prophecies. Watch this. God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm at my mother's house right now. The Lord has asked me to write down a message for the brothers and sisters in Christ. This is very serious. The Lord has spoken to me. He has told me that the tribulation has now started. Please pray about this. Please seek the Lord on this. I know many people can have opinions. Every, and a lot of people can have what they might think. But we cannot lean on our own understandings if we can only listen to what the living God is saying because things happen. She's saying that she's the voice and the mouthpiece of God. She's basically telling you she is God. See, this woman's got a Jezebel spirit. If you disagree with her or you try to correct her, she blocks you. She deletes your comments. She attacks you, makes false videos about you. Um, If you disagree with her, she's saying that you're leaning on your own understanding. No, ladies and gentlemen, if you find something wrong with a false prophet's message, that's the Holy Spirit warning you plain and simple. She's prophesying to you. She's prophesying to you, this, ladies and gentlemen. One, she's a person's a false prophet. I'm going to let you hear the rest of the video. Hello? 